My wife used to be a teacher and she said all the Mexican kids, the Hispanic kids would have takis all the time. Well, day five of drinking a gallon of water a day for five days. This is gonna take a long time. And I think it's yellowy from the lemonade. I don't love that. But this has given me the idea to do a series on eating from only gas stations for a week. The color is, is not tasty. These are always interesting to me. The steak and cheese ones are actually pretty good. In terms of breakfast, You've got weird sausage rolls, sausage, egg and cheese biscuit, tacos. I'm actually gonna shoot the intro shot now for the TikTok. It's uh, an interesting one. I'm putting you further back. I could do with you closer, but I want it to be super obvious that I'm at a gas station. So I'm gonna be filling up this one with gas and then I'm gonna drink from this one at the same time. Oh my, that filled up quickly. The wipe you are. That filled up a lot quicker than I was expecting. That is gross, it's lemon water. Accidentally got lemon water. I think I need a cup from inside. No, I don't. And my receipt, thank you. So now, we're back to day one because we're gonna be Dry scooping, not my favorite thing in the world, but it's what needs to be done. So I still need to shoot the intro from yesterday's video, as you'll probably mention if you watch yesterday's video, which is the flying, a, stacking up the cups I used yesterday and then driving an RC car into it. I'm not exactly sure how to like keep it as an interesting shot and explanatory enough for those three seconds for the intro of the video. And I think it's gonna be two shots, one of me putting the camera on the car and the next shot of it driving into the cups. But I'm gonna line it with water, lemon water. Ah, I almost just threw it all back up. <coughs> Why do people do that for fun? Like, quick gym session. Actually, no, I'll tell you about something right now. I got an email from a, uh, it's a Chinese agency, and they're working with Anchor. I did a video with them last year, about this time last year, for one of their portable power banks. And they charged a rate that was, it's a lot of money still. I'll just, i just tell you, $1,500 per video. Like, that's a, that's a big sum of money to make a video. When you think about it in business aspects, that's a very little amount of money. They want to do another promotion for one of their other products this year, and I gave them the idea of eating from gas stations for five days. And then one of the, like two of the days, if we do two videos, uh, one of the days at least, I'll buy like a frozen meal and then use like a George Foreman to cook it. But there was, I, I tried something interesting. Normally I would be trying to share reasons why they should come up in rate and meet me at this place, blah, blah. But this time, I tried more of a tactic of, as if I don't really care, like this is what it is, take it or leave it. And so they came back this morning trying to say 1500 again, which is in terms of the business that I'm in, that's a crazy low amount of money, but more of like, I'm willing to offer you 3000 per video. And like, that's pretty much all I said in the email, as opposed to where it would previously have been like, like our partnership did so well last year and I would express my value, this, that, everything else. And it's like, I need to stop, that's a defensive mindset that I need to get myself out of. And getting into a place of, I know my value, this is what it is, you'll either want it or you don't want it. It's not on me, as much as I want or need the money, it's not on me to explain all of that to them because it just makes me look desperate. And I'm really, I never realized that was me being desperate. I always thought that was me just being able to explain my position, but then I realized it was me coming out of a place of desperation, which is, Terrible. Working on things. Let's go to the gym. 
I had two thinky thinkies this morning, okay? Two thoughts. One of them was, be right back. Where are you? You hiding? There we go. Was to tell the story of the time I flew to Austin, Texas in this outfit. It's got a beaver tail and everything. And went to Bucky's, the world's biggest gas station. And I was gonna tell that story and I thought that would be quite fun. And then I had another thought. Put you back there. Oh, I need the car. RC car. I'm not sure if I'm talking to myself or telling you what I'm doing. Come on, you bum. Bunda. Yeah, yes. The other thought then was to find the top ranked gas station in my area. Oh, the reason the Bucky's thing came up was because last night my wife was scrolling TikTok or something and she found that there's a, Bucky's have put in a request to build a huge complex here. It's right in the box, you donkey. Sometimes I amaze myself with my ability to actually keep things tidy. How do I search for the top ranked gas station? Here's the drink, by the way. Still lemony. I'm just gonna go maps. I'd show my screen, but I don't really wanna show you my exact location. Uh, gas station. And then can you search by, sort by, Ratings, there we go. The quick trip on 87th. They're all quick trips. Quick trip on 87th and Lenexa. So that one looked quite nice. It's a pretty standard photos. Let's look at them on Google Maps and see what they look like. Oh, I, I wanted to, here's where this idea came from. A water flosser. I kind of want to do a series on like dental hygiene, trying to get the best dental hygiene. Maps.google.com. Quick trip, this one. Street view, that's Perkins? That's how I remember it being. So it must be brand new. The next one is 9731 Metcalf Ave. Let's go satellite image. That's kind of a way away. Let's go to this one. Right, this is the, what a lot, beautiful place. So here's my plan. I'm gonna buy, I forgot my flipping water. So I'm gonna have to get some water and then I'll buy three things that I've never eaten before. But I think we need to do an inspection first. That's, um, yeah, an inspection. I don't know what I'm inspecting, but I'm inspecting. We're looking at cleanliness. Okay, bit of spillage here, <sighs> minus one. I'm gonna pull up my white trousers so they're not flipping dragon at the back. Pumps. Pump. We've got a nice two sets of pumps. Fantastic. Oh. Next one we're looking at, deals. What kind of deals have we got going on? First one I see here. $5.99 Red Bull and a breakfast sandwich. Oh, that is sensational. What a sensational deal. I saw one of these the other day that they're actually, like someone had, it showed on the back of it that one of them is the same as 12 packs of cigarettes. That is absolutely wild. Okay, test number two is the beef jerky selection. It's looking pretty good. Which one should we get? So we've got original hot Dr. Pepper beef stick. I don't really know what to make of that. That might actually be a good bit for the video. I'll get one of those. Alkaline water. What? That's a funny looking corn dog. I might get one of those. Drop my bag. That one, hopefully you don't fall in the bag. With my beef stick, one more item to get, okay? I feel like I see if I can make a decent bubble. But why does the beer selection, coffee selection look like a beer selection? Isn't that weird? Next thing, what are we looking at? Ice creams, damn, I wish the Snickers bars were Twix bars. That'll be amazing. Let's get a savagely sour cherry though. It's only 89 cents. And I've seen something else that is not normally up my alley. Let's do some Fuego Taki sunflower seeds. Let's try those. Oh, 
Thank you. Just these few, please. No, I'll be all right. Thank you very much. I'm trying to figure. There it is. That's <laughs> off. And this one. Yes, it is. Thank you. That's okay. I appreciate that. Thank no, you. No, Beautiful. No, Thanks, no, man. Have a good one. Thanks you too. Well, yeah. dude. All right. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna sit outside this place. Sun's coming this way. There's a flipping. This is something you would never see in England. A flipping a seating place. Right. What should we start with, Oliver? We'll start with some water because I'm gonna down this before I leave. This is alkaline water which reminds me i've got a hydrogen water thing at home to make hydrogen water that should be a thing i try for a week shouldn't it i can't tell if it was my mustache or if it had a weird texture going in it t it feels different on the tongue is that placebo or does it actually feel weird get this corn hog in me Nasty. That is terrible. I think I spent $13. My wife used to be a teacher and she said all of the Mexican kids, the Hispanic kids would have takis all the time. And I have tried them takis before. They're meant to be really spicy. They are really spicy. But I don't know about these. And in fairness, I have had sunflower seeds before. And so I figured out how to eat them. So you stick a couple in. Crack it. I don't think it's acceptable to spit the shells out here. Oh, here we go. Kicker's coming along nicely. Oh yeah. Just looking at the ingredients. Don't know how to pronounce that. Don't know how to pronounce that. Red 40, yummy. Lost a seed in that one. It's a lot of flipping effort for not much. I see why baseball players use them now because when I was playing cricket back home, when we'd be on the outfield, I flipping hated cricket. I'd stuff my pockets with sweets like candy and then I'd just eat the candy the whole game. That's what would get me through. Just gonna spit those out. Dr. Pepper meat stick, I'm in for this. Give me a stick of meat any day of the week. Flavor it with Dr. Pepper. Oh, baby. Quick taste. <laughs> I, t I taste, I do taste the sweet. I'm not in for it. It's too like, what is the texture? This is it, this is gonna sound awful. You imagine you chew up some meat, like a bit of steak chew it up in your mouth so it's all ground up into tiny fibers and then you give that to someone with a bit of sweetener in it have that no let's wash that down with my alkaline water see that tasted normal let's have another bite of horn dog see if it was on me horn dog nah still no better savagely sour cherry beautifully colored all right it's got some, that was lime that's quite a nice flavor see that isn't sour but the green is but it says it's sour cherry so which one's the cherry? Is the green just like sour and then you have cherry? Oh, I forgot they have kitchens in here that make food, like fresh food. Let's get some double bubble in and see the biggest bubble you can blow. If you add water, it's a life hack to, to not make your mouth stick together. It's so what we're we looking at over here. Oh, there's some made. Sorry, dude. It's barbecue brisket pizza, $4 a slice. I don't really want to pay that much for it. That's not worth it. That does not look appetizing to me. I'm out, I'm escaping with my life. I've had enough red 40 and stuff. I'm not doing that, but let's get a bubble going. This gas station isn't really my vibe. I'm not, not even sure if I have a vibe, but this one isn't it. I looked up the worst rated as well. I don't, I would like to, I would like to be alive today at the end of the day. So I'm not going there. Stuck in my beard. I thought double bubble was meant to be the really good chewing gum. Absolutely diabolical. Sucks. Okay, that's going in. in the bin. You know what? We're gonna finish this. Set the timer, Oliver. How long is this gonna take? That was a world record. Someone send that in. That was a world record. Oh gosh. Just. I know I shouldn't, but it's 11 grams of protein. That's what it is. The drone shots you saw before this, I haven't shot yet. And I, I'm going, if I'm going to be spending time at a place, I try not to do them until I'm about to leave because I don't want to, like you see that, and then you see someone walking around with a camera. Once you see the person, like if you've seen the drone, and then you see someone walking with the camera, you're probably going to ask them to stop. People get all nervous with a, a drone, don't they? Oh, that's still not good. Well, full. 
Drank all that water far too quickly. Right, so how much of this have I bloody drunk? 33.8 fluid ounces. Well, I guess I'll just fill this up and then I know how much I've drunk. And then whatever is left in this bottle, I drink. What's up, doodah? I can see you. Steady, I'm just, this lemon water so I want to get everywhere and be sticky. So I thought of an interesting part for the video. So I'm doing pretty well for the day, actually, considering it's three o'clock. Was that as I have this much to drink left, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it like I'm just sick and tired of drinking water. This is really rude, isn't it? When I like put my finger up to pause for you. I'd never do that in real life. This was flipping so nasty. Hello, Duda. My corn dog, also nasty. I should have just gone with what I know. How Duda? The Takis. Let me go and wash the bag. It's these that make me thirsty. Duda, I'd let you have some, but you would probably be pooping all weekend. Yeah, I'm sorry. These make me thirsty. I really like where the ending isn't expected, but once it happens, you can link it in the video. So like in this case, you could never expect that I would be struggling to drink and then be able to drink the rest because I got thirsty from eating these. But when it happens, you're like, it makes sense. You wanna smell them? You probably sneeze. Dude, are the boys up? <coughs> I wanna do some keep ups outside. Oh God. Good girl, Duda. Chovies, I love you. I'll be in a few minutes, okay? You in jail? Mm -hmm. Yeah, jail, baby. So this part of the video, you can see the, the uh, gallon of gasoline I bought this morning. 